really light. What time should you wake up nowadays? Um, any minute now, so get a move on. Up early. Dad? Not to say about the early bird. Ignore him. Listen, I'll, um, I'll speak to Sarah later. OK. Right? I'll see you then. Take it that was for my benefit? And mine, actually. Nobody asked you to stand there and go, did they? When did you turn into such an old woman? You should have told me what you were doing. What, so you can go running back to your mum? Oh, give it a rest. So I take it you won't be wanting this? No. No, I don't want that. You did the job. You get the reward. That's better. Have you two gone part-time? Best get on. That's. Hello, are you coming? Yeah, when you told me why you were sneaking Loverboy out so early this morning. Mm, use your imagination. No, thanks. Why are you hiding him from Sarah? I'm not. Why don't you stay out of it? You're not exactly setting a good example, are you? Oh, says the man who called home at six o'clock this morning. Where were you, anyway? I went out. Like you told me to. Oh, what's wrong? Don't you like it when I interfere? All right, all right, I get the message. Good. Better get some work done, then. Are you going to the pub? I am. Come with us if you want. No, no thanks. Fine. Actually, no, it's not fine. He's a really nice guy. Well, I bet his wife thought that and all, and his kids. When did you ever stop to see if they were married? <sighs> anyway, you'll be pleased to hear we've decided to give it another go. Great. Well, I put the champagne in the fridge. His marriage is over. Why shouldn't we have the chance to be happy? One word, Michael. That was different. <laughs> You know how to pick them. Do you know how pathetic you sound? He's not right for you. Well, guess what? I don't need your permission. And if you don't like it, you know what you can do. What are you going to do? Kick me out? If I have to, yeah. I mean it, Dad. Don't make me choose. Me and Sarah come first, and that includes Cameron now. So you just better get used to it. So threatening to kick him out is supposed to make him like me more? He does not get to decide how I run my life. He's not been around for enough of it. Oh, sorry. It's not the same, though, is it? Look, I'll, I'll have another word with him. Why don't you let me have a go? Um, not a good idea. Well, I don't want you falling out with your dad just because of me. We, we just need to get to know each other better, that's all. You reckon? Wait, wait what's not to like? I'll take him for a pint or something. <laughs> a bit of male bonding. You don't think I can do it, do you? Um, no. You all right? Should I drink? I'll get him. No, 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 it's all right. I want a word with Diane anyway. Mm. I don't think she's here. Oh. Right, I'll have our flagger then. <coughs> well? Well, what? Did you take your auntie Chester's advice? We're seeing how things go. Oh, you want to watch that impulsive nature of yours, you know? It might get you into trouble. Ah, uh -huh. shut up. Obviously, Dad's reacted in his usual, reasonable way. Mm, yeah, well, he finds it hard, doesn't he? What with him living such a chaste and moral life. There you go. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, I'll have a 